Hi beauties, it is Cara the Bubblelush and I am super excited for this month's Battle of the Boxes. We have Birchbox versus Ipsy for May 2014. So let's see what's inside and which one comes out on top. Let's start with Birchbox first. It's super yellow. So usually it is a pink, like it comes in a pink box with pink wrapping paper and this month is very, very yellow. Here we go. May 2014, freewheeling. It's that time of year when everything from our tiny window boxes to the giant trees in the park is bursting into action. With this much freshness and optimism in the air, is it any wonder we can't seem to sit still? Accordingly, we're tossing out the rules and taking a playful approach to everything from our beauty routine to our weekend wear. Alrighty, and then it shows you what's on the back, but let's just look in here. Okay, so first, this is what it looks like. There. First things I see is a sample packet for Smarty Pants uh, gummy vitamins, which I love gummy vitamins. My prenatals that I'm still taking because I'm breastfeeding. Um, also my calcium chews, everything that I do gummy vitamins. I hate swallowing pills. So this is really cool for me. Adult Complete Multi plus Omega-3. Oh, that's good. And vitamin D. That's good too. I'm, I'm in Oregon. We don't like get any sun. So vitamin D is always important. It's a full multivitamin, eco-friendly omega-3s. Vitamin D3 contains two gummies. Now I usually do um, Vitafusion. They're a Pacific Northwest company, so I feel comfortable with them. Not for individual sale. I actually haven't had my gummy vitamins yet today, so... Ooh, these are tiny. Little. You can taste the um, vitamin C. Ooh. Whoa. These have 900 um, IUs of vitamin D in them. So that's good. Ugh. Vita Fusion tastes better. <laughs> they're not off. Well, they're just a little tart. Ugh. All right. I won't be buying those. Let's see what else they have. Um, Gilcrest and Soames Spa Therapy, Therapy Body Lotion. This kind of reminds me of like a hotel sample. Like larger in size because this is this has got what 1.35 fluid ounces but like just looks like a I think it's even a hotel sample brand isn't it Gilcrest? What does it smell like? Relaxing sea fennel? Mm. Oh yeah it smells like a sea cucumber. Now I have all this lotion. Oh I need a towel! Found a random sock. I don't know why that was on the floor. Probably from laundry. Let's wipe that off. Okay, so far I'm not super stoked. Let's see what else there is. All right, so number four, or in four, number four, right? This this brand. I'm familiar with them. I've get, gotten them a lot, but I don't think I've ever gotten their volumizing shampoo. Um, I've had like their intense conditioning and stuff like that. It has a really good smell, actually. And I think that this is like, can you smell? <laughs> what are we doing? Smell vision. Here's give it a whiff. Smells good. I can't place any of the scents though. But it's good. Hmm? Yeah? Yummy? Alright. Oh, what am I thinking? Oh, and they also have a volumizing conditioner. I can't offer you a smell of this. Sorry. But a little one application packet. Why do you do this, Birchbox? I can't really get a good feel for a product if I only use it one time. You know what I mean? I mean, I can maybe get like two or three multiple hair washings out of this, but just like one condition doesn't make sense. Give me two bottles, right? I don't know. It's just me. Okay, and then in the little Birchbox thing. Oh, ooh, heads up. There is a BB cream. That's always very, very exciting. Let's see, Marcel BB cream. You know, I actually saw this on Twitter. A girl did a side-by-side -side before and after of the BB cream, the Marcel BB cream, and it was an amazing transformation. The coverage was really great. Golden glow, I'm a little scared of. I'm not a golden glow. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> mm, I don't know. This might have to wait until like August. <laughs> For me to be able to use this, that is really dark. Let's see. I don't think so, guys. I don't know. It depends on how how well it. Ooh. 
maybe if I have a little bit of a tan later in the summer, I can use it, but no odor or anything that I, no that I notice. <laughs> it actually blends really nicely. I think it's just a little too dark for me, but cool. Next time I'm just getting a slightly lighter shade. And then Cynthia Rowley Eyeliner Crayon um, Lapis de Ojos. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that is metallic silver. That is metallic silver right there. Wow. Oh, but you know what? It actually blends out fairly well, so I'm not going to put this on right now, but I think it would easy, be easy to use if it blends nicely. It doesn't completely go away. You still see the line, but at least it fades it out a little bit. I think I can use that for like <laughs> all those date nights I go out on. All right, so that's the end of the birch box. We've got uh, a crazy eyeliner. This might be a little too out of my comfort zone, but silver, silver. Um, a really nice BB cream, but it's not really in my shade. It's a little too dark. We've got some shampoo, conditioner, some... Oh, William just woke up. Some hotel lotion and some vitamins. I'm gonna go get my baby back down for a nap and then I will show you the Ipsy bag. Okay, sorry about that, I am back. So this is the May 2014 Ipsy bag and I am very excited to get into this. The bag itself, now I love a good nature print, I will admit, but it's the fabric is a little weird. Let me, sh does it pick up? You see it's a little like, it's kind of rough. It's a little, it doesn't scream glamour. It screams very like natural, boho, but it is good for spring. Okay. It actually screams like camping to me. So first off, I did a little bonus and I um, traded in some of my referral credits and got this awesome lipstick and I'm really excited to try it. It's the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Light It Up. And I have not tried this yet, so I'm very excited. Now they did a little sample, let's see, they did a sample of um, this lipstick. Why can't I open it? There we go. It's got this weird little, okay. Look at that color. It has quite an orange base to it, but lipstick is lipstick. All right. So that's cool. But that's like a, just a, a bonus. So let's get to the actual contents of the bag. First things first, we've got this Pearlese <laughs> Hydro Balancing Moisturizer, normal to dry skin, sensitive, anti-aging, that's always good. The Ritual, gently smooth over face day and night after cleansing and toning for extra treatment, use after um, brightening serums. Now I am familiar with this brand, but not with this product. Um, I actually have their like lip moisturizing stuff and it is awesome, it's so good. So this has a nice smell to it, and it goes on really nicely. I actually am a really big fan of this brand. I wish that their, I feel like their packaging looks a little cheap, like a little generic, doesn't scream high end to me, but I actually really like their products, so that works for me. So we've got a moisturizer to go on, and then this actually works out perfectly because there's another product in here. Let me go for it, here we go. Um, it is the Hey Honey Take It Off Exfoliating Honey Peel Off Mask. And I did some reading up on this because I was like, hmm, a mask? What you're supposed to do is you put on a moisturizer, hello perfect, and then you put on this mask. It has honey to hydrate and then alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, to help brighten your complexion. You put it on, you leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes and then you peel it off. Seriously, who doesn't love a good peeling face mask? I don't know, I just something really awesome <laughs> about the way your skin feels after you like peel off a face mask. So I'm looking really forward to that. And then you follow it up with some more moisturizing lotion stuff. So these I think might work really well together. So I'm excited to try that out. Then we've got some Hang 10 Classic Sport Natural Sunscreen. This is 50 SPF. It's actually a really good size sample. I'm kind of surprised to see this in my Ipsy bag. It seems a little kind of more of a birch box product, I wanna say, but Hang 10 is one of those like older brands that I trust. I just wasn't expecting to get like kind of an athletic sunscreen in my Ipsy bag, more of maybe like um, a BB cream with SPF or something, but 
this will be fine. I mean, what I'll probably do is I'll end up putting this in the bag that we take to the splash park because last time I went, I got the kids all slathered up with lotion and totally forgot to put any sunscreen on myself and I got a little burnt on my shoulders. So this will be good to keep in there for me. Two more items in here. We've got a Pacifica eyeshadow duo. Um, this is in, let's see, Natural Beauty. Oh, and I forgot the shades, but it's like a really pretty white and then purple, which I actually really like using purple eyeshadow. I think it's my green eyes and kind of blondish hair and purple just seems to kind of work with me, but I haven't used it for a while. So this will be a good opportunity to get back into like purple eyeshadows. You know, I've heard of Pacifica, but I don't have any of their products. So this is a really good opportunity to try some of their eyeshadow and see how I like the pigment and stuff. So thank you, Ipsy. This is a really good brand. I'm excited to try this. And the last thing in my Ipsy bag this month, who doesn't like getting beauty tools? This is a chisel shader brush from Crown Brushes. Um, really good for eyeshadow. Look at this. Just kind of short and stubby. <laughs> One thing I really like about this month's Ipsy bag is how well everything works together. So you've got like an eyeshadow to try and an eyeshadow brush. Perfect. Then you have the moisturizer and the peel off face mask that work well together. And then just the sunscreen because we all need to do a better job of putting on sunscreen, right? Right. Overall, I'm not like completely freaking out about this month's bag, but they are all good items that I'm looking forward to using. All right, so now it's time to compare the boxes. We have Birchbox versus Ipsy. Which one did you like the most? I'm loving the fact that they gave me a full size eyeliner, even though it's not my perfect shade. And I am excited to try the Marcel BB cream, but I wish it was also in my shade. So I feel like Birchbox really, really tried this month and they just felt a little short. But I mean, this shampoo, the full size shampoo is like $34 or something. So it is a really nice, quality um, brand, really high price brand, but the sample sizes are just a little small. And then in this month's Ipsy bag, I'm really excited about the eyeshadow. The shades are perfect. I love the little eyeshadow brush. Who doesn't like getting new brushes? And then I'm excited about trying the, um, the peeling face mask because that's a new brand to me and I'm always looking for something to clear my complexion, moisturize, and then also do some anti-aging. You guys, in two weeks, I'm gonna be turning 31 years old. So two kids, I'm getting up there in age. So it's really time for me to start taking care of my skin. So between the AHAs and the sunscreen, it's a good reminder from Ipsy, girl, you need to start taking care of your skin. So I hear it loud and clear. All right, so which one do you think came out on top? Birchbox or Ipsy? I think this month I'm gonna have to give it to Ipsy. Birchbox really tried, but Ipsy came out on top for me. I know one of the products they offered in this month's Ipsy bag was a Too Faced bronzer, which I was so bummed I didn't get. Right now I'm currently using Mary Kay's bronzer and I like it, but it's kind of a smaller sample size. So I want you to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite bronzer? Bonus points if you are fair skinned as well and it works really well for you. Let me know which one I need to try because I'm gonna have to buy one pretty soon and uh, I'm going to take your suggestions. Okay, so leave that down in a comment below. Also, which one did you like better, Birchbox or Ipsy? I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Mail call. The mailman brought me three packages today, so I'm going to open them up and show you what I got. I'm very, very excited. Ready? Let's go.